What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, we're in Everglade City. We got our frog dog gear on because guess what? It's blowing 20 out of the north, but that's typical. Did y'all expect anything different? We're with my buddy Trevor Roberts. If you watch my turkey hunting video, you've already seen Trevor. We got my girlfriend Rachel. It's May 1st, it's opening day of grouper season. For some reason, Florida's like the Bermuda Triangle, it always blows, but guess what? We're here to go fishing. We're heading offshore, gonna try to catch some live bait, and then we're headed south, down into the Everglades National Park to do some awesome inshore fishing, maybe even try to hit some wrecks offshore, we don't know. Then tomorrow we're doing a whole nother video with one of the most epic legend captains on the planet. I'm not even telling you who yet. So thanks for being here. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit it because guess what? It's summer and we're gonna be doing some of the most awesome fishing videos ever with the new airboat, the duck boat, my bay boat. Y'all, let's take a ride. Alright y'all, it's windy, it's blowing hard out of the north. Look at that, on a piece of shrimp with just a regular old J hook, I was reeling it in and just caught that. We don't know how good the footage is, we couldn't see, we didn't know what we had, but y'all, we got dinner. We're headed somewhere where none of y'all are going to expect. So we're out here in the middle of the gulf, we just hit this crazy thing that we thought was a tree but it ended up being a tower of some sort. We just pulled up to that pole behind us, saw a triple tail he was trying to eat and a shark ate him. He wasn't hooked at all and a shark ate him. Then I just caught this little mackerel. That's a meal in its own there. So we got a mackerel and a cobia. We're headed to one more pole and then we got a long run to where we're going. So, All right, so we're easing up here to a buoy. There's a triple tail on it. This time of the year in the Gulf, the triple tail will stack up on these buoys for some reason. I don't know why. 
and eat stuff floating by. There he is. Got him. Nice triple tail. Cobia and triple tail. I don't know if he's quite a keeper. Got to be 16. But he's close to it. We'll yes. check fish rules and see. Look at that. We were running along and I looked over there. I'm like, man, we ought to go run and check those traps. First one. All right, moment of truth. Over so, 17. Oh, no, go back a little bit, Gabe. 16 and a half, dead, almost 17 inches. All right, y'all, he was 17 and a half inches. They gotta be 18 inches long to keep them, so we're gonna keep checking these pots all the way to where we're going. And where we're going is the big surprise, and we're not telling you till we get there. I don't know if you can see him, he's right under the pot. There he is. And he just went down. Get him away from that trap. Get him, girl. Son, he's a pulling. In the net, Captain. Well, I can't help it when she's pulling him that way. Hey! High five. Nope. What's he gotta be? 18. What are you there, Gabe? God, he's so close. So close. No. Ah! Oh, he's back up. Hey, she's sitting down there. I'll catch him. I, I'll catch him. What are you doing? Just kick the side of the fucking boat. I didn't want to hit her in the face. Oh. <laughs> oh, Break my toe. Hey, what happened to no cussing on the video? <laughs> 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 mm. What? Alright y'all, we have arrived, but we're not done fishing for this video, but we had to make a pit stop, y'all. Look who it is. Look. Hey. It's a stand spam, y'all. We have traveled a long ways, over 70 miles, and we're now here in Isla Mirada at Bud and Mary's Marina, and we're going to cook this awesome cobia. Hey, are you going to cook dinner tonight or am I? I'm going to eat dinner you're going to cook. <laughs> yeah, thank God, because it'll actually taste good then. You guys, what a journey. We set out with a goal, and we accomplished it. Caught a big keeper cobia, a bunch of triple tail to be honest. We didn't film all of them, we caught a bunch of them, but they were all just a little bit too short. We're gonna tie this boat up, we'll see y'all in a minute. All right y'all, we're gonna knock the sides off this cobia. This isn't really a catch, clean, and cook, I'm gonna call it that, but this is sort of just a whatever, a vlog. We left Everglade City, we're down here in the Keys now, we caught triple tail, we caught a cobia. We even caught catfish. And trout. And, uh, and trout. We're gonna clean this, go back to Nick's house and cook because tomorrow morning we're going 
on the broad mine is way offshore sword fishing and who knows it. what else got my new Danko this is a just a different type a little bit cheaper version so Kobe are just like a big catfish they can be a pain in the butt to clean they're slippery I don't have a towel to put them on so I'm gonna do my best but I'm actually gonna do it a different way we're gonna eat his flays, but we're gonna do something else with his belly. I makes I made some cobia fish dip the other day that was so good, and I want to see what's in his belly because you never catch cobia as shallow as we did this one. Let's see what's in his belly. It's a male because he has roe, not sperm. Or it's a male because he has sperm, not roe. My bad. I don't feel like he has much in there. A catfish! That joker's got a catfish in his belly. Look at that, a whole catfish. Oh, he didn't like that, oh, he did. Oh. Here he comes, don't. Alright, so with his belly like this, his throat and his lower part of his rib cage, I'm gonna take that whole thing right there and smoke it, and that'll make about a pound of smoked cobia fish dip, and it's so good. Probably could smoke his head too, but we're not going to. These fish can be a pain in the butt to clean. Should just do it like any other one. You see me just cut through the rib bones with that knife, didn't you? Kobe is just like any other fish. I'm just following the backbone right down. It was completely crazy how I caught this fish. I totally was not expecting it. I mean, we catch Kobe out there, but not the way I caught him on just a little hook and a little piece of shrimp. Kobe is a real firm meat. It's really good for grilling. You can steak it. If I was home and I had my big trigger, I would keep that backbone and smoke it too, but we're planning on catching a pretty good amount of fish tomorrow, so we don't need that. Here, T-Rev. Here. He did. So all I did was cut right down the center of it. Now the flay is a little bit easier to deal with. Look at that, one pretty piece of cobia. And we still got a little bit more to feed the tarpon. <laughs> See y'all, at Bud and Mary's, one of the cool things, once it opens back up and you can come down here, everybody knows Robbie's as being a tarpon feeding destination. Well, guess what? Bud and Mary's is just as good. And they don't charge you to come down the dock. All you gotta do is buy a soda and an ice cream just to help out the cause. Look how big that one is right there. He's at least 150 pounds. Here he comes. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, he scared me. <laughs> hold on, I gotta get it to where I can hold it. Big eyes. Where'd the big one go? And just like that, we're ready to go to Mr. Nick's house and cook. All right, y'all, we're back. But this video is not done. Look at that big old cobia throat. Oh. We are back from the Keys, but this video is going to be too long. So I had to just figure out how to end it right here and start back up like sort of a part two. So I'm going to take this cobia throat, put it on the smoker, show you how I season it, what temperatures I do. And then I'm going to make a part two of our journey down to the Keys because you guys, that was amazing. In this video, I say we only went 70 miles. We actually, when we got to the marina and checked our GPS, we had went 103 miles. But we also went out sword fishing with Nick. That's the next video. And then I'll do the part two series of this video. So right now, let's take this cobia throat. I got some all-purpose can cooker. I've got some original Creole seasoning. And I'm gonna put a little bit of both. Now to some of y'all that might look like a lot of seasoning, but guess what? There's skin on one side, so I'm only seasoning one side. Woo! Mm. All right, so I got it set at 162 degrees. I'm gonna let it smoke at a heavy smoke for about an hour. I'm gonna run to the dermatologist. Y'all need to get your skin checked. And I know I do, because I'm in the sun every day. And I'm gonna come back, turn the heat up, finish it off. I don't, know, I don't even know if I'm going to make a dip out of it. We might just eat it on cheese and crackers. I don't know, but y'all are going to see. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We got the part two of this video coming. We got a swordfish video coming. More airboat videos coming. But like Jake always says, right now, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.